content. And I grew up in a sexually abusive environment. I trusted my family, but I ended up pregnant at a really young age. I didn't realize it was a bad thing. They drugged me, took me to a clinic where I had my first abortion. I didn't realize until later what really happened to me. I don't remember the experience, but this opened a door in my life on the inside that no one could close. I became very sexually active and used prescription drugs to have the pain in my heart and my soul. This, this door was open and it became no big deal for me to have more abortions. I was told it wasn't a baby anyway. I could have all the sex that I wanted and if I got pregnant I could pay a couple hundred dollars and make it go away. I got involved with my church and celebrate recovery. I thought that was all I needed to do until I had other women come to me with abortion questions. I knew right then I had to stop running and deal with my abortions. I ended up taking the Forgiven and Set Free class at Retta, our local pregnancy resource center. I knew the Bible and all the right answers, so I figured, okay, Crystal, you got this. But all the right answers didn't help me when we got to the forgiveness lesson. I didn't want God's forgiveness for murdering my children. I didn't need God's forgiveness. When I learned that God's love and desire for me trumped all that, I was feeling I was able to accept God's forgiveness. I was able to honor my children that I murdered with a memorial and dignity by giving them names. I want to help people from all paths of life, from rape to sexual abuse, and from abortions because I get it. I have been there. I would have given anything to have someone come in and help me, which is why I am silent no more. I want to see others have the freedom that I have in every walk of life.